Hello! You can hear me over the construction work. <laughs> and welcome to Canary Wharf Station. We're looking at the DLR high level platforms here under this beautiful canopy. Um, DLR trains here um, operating to Lewisham, uh, Stratford, and Bank. West India Quay Station is where you can see that um, DLR B07 stock there. We've got B07145 terminating in from Stratford. And we're one to eight in the middle. And 106 at the rear. What a shot. And of course, coming in now with another DLRBO7 stock. 154, bound for Lewisham from Bank. As well as 130. And 149. This one is going to Lewisham. Very well, quite busy today, isn't it? Always is quite busy. And I think this may very well be one of the only stations, if not the only station in the country, where it's possible to see one train depart in one station, West India Quay, and another arriving at the same station in the same shot. <laughs> because that's what? Less than 100 metres to West India Quay. That's really not very far at all. So let's see what else turns up here at Canary Wharf. I'll try and make this video nice and concise as possible, but still encapsulating all the action that goes on here as the Lewisham service departs. All right, as passing out now is the Stratford service. Next stop, West India Quay, just stop there. Bank trains are also stopping at West India Quay today due to the reduced service that is currently only operational on the DLR. Excuse the lighting, it's a bit dark under this canopy and my camera isn't focusing on the train for some reason, but look at how close these stations are. As coming in now is our bank service, operated by another B07 stock. There seems to be lots of these around today. DLR top tip, if you're going to Canary Wharf and you want to change to the Jubilee line, use Heron Keys instead as it is slightly closer. Going to Canary Wharf itself, like the proper buildings and stuff, then probably um, this station would be better, but if you're changing to the Elizabeth line here uh, at Canary Wharf, then West India Quay is very slightly closer to the Elizabeth line platforms as I'll show you. In fact, do like Right, here's a journey video from Canary Wharf to West India Quay. Train is for Northbank. The next stop is West India Quay. When leaving the train, please remember to take all your belongings with you. It was what, 20-30 odd seconds? Perhaps even less than that. Right, here we are, West India Quay, still part of Canary Wharf, so I can still include this in my video. West India Quay is usually only served by Stratford trains. It is served by some bank trains in the peak hours. But if you're planning on alighting here at West India Quay, uh, then you will need to go to Canary Wharf or, or Poplar and change to a uh, Stratford Canary Wharf service.
Now here's the way out to West India Quay Station. So West India Quay Station there and the Elizabeth Road Station is just here. So West India Quay is actually very slightly closer. There's a beautiful building here. Anyway, if you did enjoy what you've seen here, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. Pigeon. And Elizabeth Line, which is still not open yet, but it probably will be by the time this video um, <laughs> is. So if you are enjoying the Elizabeth Line, then please do put a comment down in the description below. And I'll see you in another video. Bye everyone. Oh, that's the first B2K I've seen today, actually, just up there. No, wait, sorry, Poplar. Poplar. West India Quay. Canary Wharf. <laughs> Three stations from one location, including that station itself. That's quite a nice shot, isn't it? That's the alarm train, which will be taking me to just what 50 meters, 100 meters back down that way uh, as 57 arrives in. We're going to go at 79 in another year. Eighty-four.